Now this is where you're gonna hit up the uh, the old crevasse and the you know Forbidden Pass, Nutville, and the Grand Canyon. Well, today we're going on a wacky adventure. Oh, wild and wacky. Wild and wet. That's a different type of channel. Today we're going to be trying each other's shower routines. I don't remember being taught how to shower. You like, just kind of figure it out as you go. Exactly. Yeah. So you have no one there to tell you if you're doing it right or wrong. So you just kind of do your thing and move on with and your you, life. And you hope you're clean afterward. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what's going There's on. There's things that I've picked up on as I've gotten older and I'm like, right? I was dirty AF, man. <laughs> right. Now I'm a lot cleaner. But today, I'm let's shook. see how we shower. Yay. Use the shower you'll be showering in. We got a special camera angle just for you guys so you can see what he's gonna be doing and nice. what I'm gonna be instructing. In depth. <laughs> All right, get undressed. We're gonna get weird. This is gonna get very personal. What you do in the shower is so personal. It's, it's like sacred. Your, it's your sacred time alone. So this might change your opinion on me. I don't know, but I hope you don't. And maybe you'll learn something. We'll see. We'll see what happens in here. <laughs> So I come in and I take off all my clothes. Done. All right, I take off my glasses and then I'm blind. Oh, where's the shower at? Exactly. And then I grab my towel. That's for after. I know, and I put it over here. Smart, within reach. I within get reach, because I get the far side. Is this a, where am I going? Turn it. Yeah. All the way? No, no, like three quarter turn. Like there. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Right. Now here's a little thing that I do. I grab the plastic sheet and I self guard myself. And now I pull the lever. Oh. Is it's it warm? It's chilly. Could be warmer. Okay, reach around, warm it up. Ah, okay, nice. now you close it and you okay. can step in. Alrighty. Okay. I like where this is going. Alright. Sometimes I just like to soak in there, let the water hit over my traps. Oh, yeah. Kind of take in the water, you know. Now, because I don't grow a bunch of hair on my chest, but I grow hair around my nipples, the very first thing I do, check, see if I got hair. Do you have hair? Check. It's there. All right, grab that razor blade down on your left. We're gonna shave the hair off your nipples. <laughs> oh gosh. You wanna Do make you sure. Like, lather, like lube up somehow? No, just water, man. You, it's, I don't have a lot of hair. What if I rip a nip off, dude? Doesn't that scare you? <laughs> Tell me when you're done. I think we got it. Okay, next All one. Right. Okay. So I grab my shampoo up on the left. It's ah. that big golden bottle. How much do you use? Maybe like a dime size. I don't use a lot. Now when I scrub, I'm gonna start on the sides and I creep up to the top. And I don't spend too much time shampooing. Okay. Then I rinse that off. All right. Next thing I do is I grab, since I'm all out of conditioner, I gotta use my wipes. So on your bottom left, <laughs> there's two Biolage bottles. Bioterra. One of them's conditioner. We've all been there. Okay, same, about, okay. A, about a dime, maybe a little bit more than a dime for me. Do I start on the sides again? Yep, starting on the sides, creeping up. Okay, okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna leave that to soak. All right, makes sense. I'm gonna grab my loofah, it's the blue one on the left. Aha, I like this color. All right, I'm gonna grab my body wash, it's on the upper left, the old spice. I'm gonna squirt. Maybe a little bit more than a quarter in there. Maybe like two quarters actually now that I think Like a 50 cent it. piece. Yeah, 50 cent piece. I use my arm as like a, a water spigot to like I wet mean, the body like wash. water bending or your, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm water bending, face. exactly. Exactly, I'm gonna rough it up. All right, we're start exfoliating. Exactly, I'm gonna start with my left armpit. Okay. And I'm gonna switch sides. And then I'm gonna go across the chest and down. Now, <laughs> We enter into the territory of the manhood. <laughs> this is not for your eyes, camera. I'm going to pick up Frodo. Okay. Scrub around Frodo. Frodo and his baggins. And, oh. and leave the baggins. Like just scrubbing around the Frodos. Like around town, you know? Okay. And then I'll go venture into the baggins area. I'll go down to my right leg, down to the calf, and the top of the foot. And then we bring it around back. We're gonna scrub the butt, buttocks area. So we're going through the, the pass, the forbidden pass. Going for the pass, okay. around back. Lower back. And then lower back. Okay. And once that's done, then I rinse off. What about the upper back? The upper back's coming. Oh, all right. Dude. Now I'm not flexible to get my upper back with a loofah. There's a back scrubber hanging on the upper left. Long piece. Rope looking thing? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to put a little bit of body wash on that as well, maybe the size of a quarter. Now I'm going to maybe rough it up a little bit. All right, soft side towards your back, just kind of spreading the soap around. You do, you do the opposite arm, sh opposite arm shimmy. Soft side. Spread it around. There we go. Oh yeah. I want one of these. You rinse that off, rinse off your back, and then also at the same time your head, because you got conditioner on. Oh, there. I gotta get that conditioner out. It's gonna be silky smooth. Yep. Oh, nice. Smells nice. That back scratch is game changer. What do you do if you gotta pee? I don't pee in the shower. All right. I know, like. Figure. I mean, yeah, that's what everyone. Yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah. I don't pee in the shower. I was taught to pee in the toilet. All right, you done? Yes. Okay, turn it off. All right. Open the curtain. You feel clean? I do. Okay, I'm gonna go long ways on the towel. I'm gonna dry off the face, the hair. Now I'm gonna go left arm and then right arm. All right, across the chest. Get the chest! <laughs> Same thing with that loofah thing. Oh, you get the back. You gotta get girl. the back. Yep, exactly. Now here's the thing. When I do my legs, I actually drape the towel on the ledge first. Okay. Le like hold it through your body. Now just put the, the tiny bit on the ledge there. Now I'm gonna step on that and get my leg. Okay. See that? I see what you're doing. I love that he still got the nair legs from when we did that. I don't yeah. know if you guys saw that video, but I'll link it. That's not where that party ends. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna lift the towel up and I'm gonna step out and I do a 180-er and I, then I dry my right leg. Outside the tub? Yeah, see? Okay. Now the goal here is to not get the floor mat wet, which you got wet. Well, I didn't know the goal beforehand. It's fine. You're learning. And there we are. We're clean. Is the end? That's the end. Oh man, do I got a treat for you. <laughs> <laughs> now we need a little bit of a bathrobe action. Oh, it feels so nice. You like it? Yeah. All right. You ready? It's your turn. My turn. Cam has me a little bit worried about his preparations. Uh, we're just pulling up to his house now. He's left me with a little bit of surprise and he's told me to bring along my toothbrush. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I'm nervous. Are you excited for yeah. a, a revolutionary experience? experience? I, I mean, I'm a pretty open guy. I got two modes. Okay. I got lick the split, get out quick. I got stuff to do. But my favorite okay. is my leisurely spa experience. All right, give me that experience. That's the one you're getting. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, okay, let's get in here. First things Not first. Not a lot of room to. You're gonna sit on the toilet. This is where you spend about five to 10 minutes playing on your phone, looking at eye funny. Okay. Whatever, you know, you just, you're kind of releasing your mind. Okay, now in this time also, this is crucial. You're gonna close the curtain halfway. Okay, make sure the white, the other piece is on the inside of the tub. Okay. You know, so no water can escape. Then you're gonna turn on the faucet. Just pull it straight forward. Okay, and then pull up the little thing at the bottom. Okay, this is warming up. You gotta warm up that water. Okay. Get it ready. When you're ready to get in, close the curtain all the way. You're gonna kind of open this side so you can get in but you're gonna grab that white piece uh -huh. as you step in to shield yourself. Okay. Because sometimes it's a little warm, you don't quite want to get wet yet. Now shield yourself. You're gonna reach up to the shower faucet and okay. you're gonna point it right at the shower right here. Point it right at the curtain. Point the shower there? Yep, just make sure it's not getting out. All right. Okay, right, right. you get that in there? Now this is a way for the, the water without just shooting you right in the face. And nobody wants to get shot in the face, but it creates a sauna-like environment keeping the warm air rushing over your body go ahead and lay down sit down put your back against the back there wait hold up the water's not even up that high yet it's okay how do i Second. make it a little hotter you can make it hotter turn it to the left i cannot stress this enough like a, like less than a quarter inch <laughs> oh. you go you go more than that you're coming out without any skin because it gets hot okay all right okay now i'm gonna lay down do, yeah go ahead and lay down lay, lay your back against the back Water's there Water's getting warm okay. see how the faucet kind of drips you stick your toes together underneath the drips it keeps them warm you kind of hang out here for like however you want. If you if you went to the gym, you killed it last night, you're a little sore, this will loosen up some of that tension. I'm waiting for the water to fill up. Here. Water will fill up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now once you're done with your leisurely stroll, go ahead and stand on up. All right. Yeah, this is the hard part. It's weird. We're trying to explain okay. how to shower without being in the shower. 
You might want to turn the faucet towards you if you haven't yet. Now wait, am I going to unplug the, the tub? Oh yeah, you want to do that. Yeah, don't forget that. Okay. Part. Okay, so now we'll start with the shampoo. So you grab my Hawthorne shampoo there. You're going to put in not a dime, not even a, any kind of currency we use. I want like a pea-sized amount of shampoo. Got a pea-sized. Starting at the top, I rub it into my head and kind of down through the back and then the side. The top to yep. the back? Top down. Top down. Okay. Rub it around, all nice in there. Okay. okay. Now, you grab the little bottle that has the black cap, little Cremo thingy. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. So the one with the black lid, you put like a, uh, about a dime size in your beard palm. Beard and face wash. Yep, and you're gonna rub it all up in your beard. So okay. like, I don't put it on my forehead or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifically just to the beard area. Go ahead and rinse off your head and your beard. Get all out. Now you're gonna grab that loofah. Now you put the loofah under the water, get it nice and wet. Now is this your personal loofah? This is. Okay, Please I'm gonna try my out. best to not think of what you've done to this poor thing. <laughs> so now that you've got it nice and damp, hold it in front of the little uh, pump action body wash. How many pumps? Two pumps. And then you just scrub it all in there. You just rub the loofah until it's loofing. Go ahead and turn the shower head to the curtain again. There you go, okay. Now you're gonna start scrubbing your arms, get a little extra elbow action, elbow. move into the armpit. Okay. Scrub across the chest to the other armpit. Go over that arm. Little extra emphasis on the elbow. And then you just kind of start moving on downtown. Okay. Get the belly. Now at this point, I'll usually go put my leg up on, on one of the ledges. Go down the right side. Okay, front, leg? back of the thigh. The leg. Okay, we're okay. skipping we're skipping Mr. Bojangles All right, for okay. a minute. Go on down, get the calf of the knees. Scrub the foot a little bit. And then switch to the other leg. Okay. Rub it down, front, side, back, get that thigh, down to the knee, hit the calf, little foot action. Now this is where you're going to hit up the uh, the old crevasse and the, you know, Forbidden Pass, Nutville and the Grand Canyon. That's right, you, you know, get up under, Okay. move that, that twig and berries, Okay. keep the family jewels nice and, you know, polished up. Deal with yourself down there, don't have any specific way, it's just kind of willy-nilly. That little loofah's going in and out, doing what it needs to do. I put the, the faucet back on me okay. and like just scrub it out, squeeze it a few times, just kind of rinsing out all the suds. And then just proceed to wash all your suds off. I feel like this thing is non-stop making suds. It makes a lot. We're going to go back to the little bottle with the white cap. This is my conditioner, which I only use on my beard. So get yourself some of that. Rub it all up in your beard. This has got to stay in for 30 seconds. Now you get that in there. And then you're gonna grab the face wash. This time, you just put it on and you wash your cheeks, your forehead, your nose, your, your ears a little bit. So you're washing your face. Okay, wash. You just let it, you just let it hang you out for a minute. You said the ears too? Yeah, get the ears. Scrub a dub dub in there. Okay. Now grab your toothbrush and uh, proceed to brush your teeth. I have a, a, a shower toothbrush and just a regular nighttime toothbrush. And then once you're done brushing your teeth, Wash off your face. Make sure those ears are clear. Get your beard all nice and cleaned off. Ooh, spit, I your, like that. spit your toothbrush water out. Uh, now you're done cleaning. I, typically, I'll actually use the shower head to spray off all the suds. I'm just saying, some people in this house don't do that, and Daddy almost dies every morning. <laughs> don't want to die. Yeah. Don't want to break my neck. Now this part, this is my pre-dry sequence. Oh my gosh, you have a. You just shake your body like a dog. I mean, shake the arms out. Wiggle those thighs, shake the booty, shake the boobies. You're shaking arms, shaking boobs, shaking legs, like this. Really? You do this. I just throw it on my face, get the hair, get the face, get the shoulders, move down to the arms. Similar to you, I do put my leg up on the edge and kind of get the water off. Right here, this, this is the move I make. Yeah, I did Set, that. bam, got it. That's what I did. I step back here. And then draw the other leg. Okay. Do the other one. Yeah, nice, nice. Then you go ahead and stop here. Now what you're gonna do, go ahead and put your uh, towel there on the toilet seat. Now sit down, okay? Now this part is very important. No way. This here is a little personal heater. Go ahead and crank it all the way up. Feel that? Already hot. It is already hot. Okay, now just spread them open and you hold that bad boy at the family jewels and let them dry off. Are you for real? Aim it in there. There's a little handle at the top there. Okay. This is like a car wash, you know, like a jewel wash. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and put it right here facing out. All right. Now you're going to stand up and you're going to Captain Morgan that toilet right there. Are you for real? Dead serious. Get a little closer. 
I am learning so much about you right there now. There you go. See, they pointed right at it. What's that, what's that called? Q-tip? Q-tip. Grab one of those. Clean one, clean the air a little bit, get a little deep. All right. Flip it around. See, now this, I keep this step into like getting ready. This really? This is part off. of my drying off. And now, flip around, Captain oh. Morgan the other side, get those really? cheeks a little love. Now do the other Q-tip. Okay. Now your back is real wet. <laughs> yeah, I didn't dry it off at all. You didn't say to. Oops. Do the shimmy. Okay. Okay. Now this point, I wrap it around. My my undertails down there. Undertails? Yeah, my little uh, hidden story. Gosh. So at this point, we step into the bedroom. This is my favorite part. Now you want to make sure it's pointed directly at the corner of this bed. That's very crucial. Okay. Yeah. Because now you're gonna face your butt right here. You're gonna sit right there. Okay. You're gonna lay back and you're gonna put one foot there <laughs> and this foot here. Are you for real? You're not pranking me right I'm now. I'm not pranking you. This is how I dry off every morning. <laughs> I am learning so much about you right now. This is part of the sacred tradition. Now, I gotta know, Shaylee, how, what were your thoughts on this? Honestly, it was weird because when we first got married, he would do it out in the living room with like our big like rotating fan. And so now he does it in here, now that we have a fan in here. That's right. And it was the most awkward thing I have ever seen when I came in and I was like, oh my gosh. Now turn around and face the bed. Now just bend at the waist and lay flat on the bed. I am so bed. violated <laughs> right now, you guys. Just lay flat on the bed. And you just let it uh, clean up. Really? The, clean up the creek side. Really? There. You have no idea <laughs> yeah. how crucial this is to having a wonderful day. If I don't get my drawing, drawing session done correctly, I think about it and am annoyed, annoyed all day long. I gotta say, my butt is dry in the swim trunk. See? That's it, boy. I'm gonna go get dressed. Go get dressed. Learned a lot about you today, Cam. But I do feel clean. You feel nice and clean. And dry. Your skin is dry and soft. I am feeling like it, I, I see the method, but I gotta know, why not just a hair dryer? Like I know we talked about earlier, but you know there are hair dryers with cooling functions, right? That's true, they're, they're not bad, but see, here's the thing. With the hair dryer, you're doing a lot of work. You gotta be standing there, Facing it, getting into weird spots, holding it, moving things around. But I feel like around. you holding that big old heater is the same That's thing. That's just the start of the process. The key is the finishing when you're laying on the corner of the bed and you're just wild and free, letting the airs okay. move across you. Maybe I need to expand further into the relaxing side of things. Now, and the other thing is the heater is typically only during the colder months. So even when we're in the deep winter, that's when the heater's on the whole time I'm in the shower. I do have to say after having your experience, I would like to revisit this because there is a deeper side of my showering oh, etiquette that okay. I will do to really get clean. I kind of, I kind of gave you the like every day, but if I, if, we, if I want to give you the Lux package, there's more to it. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below if you have any other ideas on things that we can swap, some sort of routine. It's interesting getting Anything. to know it is. this side of you that I've never even The things considered. no one talks about. Yeah, it's very fun. But let me know. Let me know if you're like me and you got to have some sort of fan, blow dryer, heater, something drying off your undercarriage. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Stay fresh. Deuces. If I'm not this, perfectly dry. If you knew about this beforehand, would you still be in this situation? Yeah. Is this a breaking situation? No. This is a breaking situation what's, for me. What's wrong? What's, this is so weird. What's wrong with loving? You're downstairs enough to give it a proper dry. I guess I just don't have I, that issue. I'm just saying.